Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Tactical Expedition. So today I want to show you replacement of Porsche key fob covers. When I bought my Taycan, they gave me two keys. So don't get these two mixed up. This is my key and this is the extra key because the key remembers and stores all the profiles. So, but it looks so same, right? Like there's no way to tell, tell it apart. I searched online and I wanted to kind of make it a little fun. So I bought this uh, key cover. Check this out. I, no, I'm not selling these. I just found it online. That's all. This is inspired by the Porsche race car. I, mean, I love the, the scraped design. And this is the other side. It comes with the gloss black metal. It doesn't come with the Porsche logo. So you have to reuse this Porsche logo here. So this is the key for the Taycan. And this clear part between the logo and the silver part, that clear area actually lights up red. Um, I think when they do unlock and uh, when they do pre-cool and heat, it lights up red, it blinks. This is unlock, lock, uh, front trunk, rear trunk. When you flip it, this is the panic button. So when you hold on to it, alarm will ring. This is the spare key. All you have to do is grab it with your fingernail and just pull it out, use this, in an emergency situation where car uh, door handle doesn't pop out, you can pull it and then there's a little uh, keyhole. So you can use this to unlock your car and enter your car. So I wanted to do a fun upgrade so I can uh, differentiate between my car key and the spare car key. So grab your key first. Very first thing you have to pop this spare key out. Very simple, that's it. Just uh, very little effort. Just pull it with your fingernail, that's it. It comes out, hold on to that. And here, don't try to force anything because you will break stuff. So grab a, just a flathead small screwdriver and there's a little part, a little ledge right there in the corner, right there. Just put that in there and then pull. That's it, that's simple. That's it, it's out. Don't force anything because you'll break these clips. Put it in there in that little latch right here. Put it and then just pull it. That's it, it popped. That simple. If you need to uh, upgrade the battery, that's where it goes. So you unscrew that and the battery will come out. So from here, you have to pop this out. You have to pop it out from here. So you see the silver tab. So you have to push that up because it's holding on to it from here. So this thing will lift from the back up. It will lift like this, okay? So from here, grab a small screwdriver a flathead and just push it up just like that very easy and other side same thing just down and up that's it and now everything will just pop out like this see and you need this obviously and this Porsche design just push it from the top that's it it pops out look at that everything is just a lot of uh, a lot of thought went into these designs. Look at that, beautiful. That's a gloss black. Let's put that in there. Just like that, right? That's it, it just pops in. You have to hook the front like this. And you have to just push it down. And all these little notches are supposed to line up with those clips right there. There's four clips and slowly just um, work your way back slowly clip it everything in and that's it it's clipped wow it already looks aggressive so you look at the design that's the clip obviously that's the front so that's the top of the race car basically clip it and just perfect fit there you go again check this out it's beautiful look at that it's nice gloss black only thing is this silver part in the middle it is metal this gloss black part is not that's a high grade plastic so when you hold on to these porsche keys it feels like you're playing with the the hot wheels this is my gen 3 forerunner this is uh, my gen 5 forerunner and my future cybertruck but currently i have awesome tycon Thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one.